Good morning, YouTube. It is 4... 4.40 in the morning a.m. Mountain Standard Time. And I'm going to do a few clips for you um, of the moon today and show you... What I'd like to do is show you here... This is level. Here's the horizon. And give you a uh, demonstration or a few clips to show you what the moon does throughout the day. Actually, the moon doesn't do anything, but what the, our vision of the moon. My camera doesn't have that great of a zoom, so it's not a wonderful shot, but you can see the angle of our view of the moon. And I'll check it again for you later. And always <coughs> to look at it as um, where the horizon is. Now this doesn't look level because it's mountaintop, so on a hilltop. But that's the view at 4.45 in the morning. This is something I look at too through the whole winter. And we're going to not get to see this because it rises now. Venus. I believe it's Venus. I'll double check that for you. It'll be too bright to see in another mm, couple of weeks. Yeah, I wish I had a better camera, a better zoom. Anyway, that's about the last view we're going to get of that because the sun comes up and you can't see it anymore. So that's what that double check and make sure that's Venus for you. Okay, now it is 10.50, 10.50 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, and I want to show you the moon. <laughs> I can see it out here. see what level is my tripod is level and even though the I'm sitting on the side of a mountain that's why the trees are kind of going but you can tell how they grow upwards what the horizon where the horizon is so I took the first clip at 450 six hours later this is so I'll, I will try and get another shot for you before it goes down but as you can see it's probably going to be setting fairly soon here okay just want to talk to you briefly about the moon I've been watching the moon for years and I watch the moon differently than anyone I've ever met. I look at it several times a day and I'm usually bummed if the clouds are too thick to watch it. Watch it all day, all night, not all night, but in the evening or early morning. <laughs> so I took a video years ago, a few years ago. I'll post the link to that video below. It was called moon tilt 90 degrees in eight hours and I documented 
with a timestamp and and filmed it several times throughout the day. And I got a lot of comments about it over the years um, and a lot of views. It's, <laughs> well, the title, of course, is from our perspective. We, the moon isn't tilting, right? I mean, we can just put that right out there on the table. The moon's not tilting, and I put moon tilt because that's the way we see it. Um, we don't normally see, or in my lifetime, the moon has not shifted that drastically in a short period of time. So I, I filmed this morning at about 4.20, 4.50, I, I can't remember the exact time, and then again this morning at about 10 to 11, and it had a, a pretty drastic shift in that six hours. <laughs> I also wanted to show you uh, the moon in the daytime so you can see the horizon. You can see that my tripod is level, you can see that the horizon is where our our point of reference so you can see the tilt of our perception of the moon our view of the moon now what what does that mean I've had a lot of people people saying that's um, <laughs> oh no it's slipping me in this moment dang it um, wait 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 it's all it's right there field rotation right I I understand what you're saying with that, but what I'm saying is in direct reference to our horizon as we are on the earth, what does that mean for us to now see the moon, the shadow, tilting and moving that much in such a short period of time? So would not, wouldn't it mean that our rotation is a little bit different, a little off, that we have shifted. The pole shift, possibly. It's evidence of, I would say, maybe about 17 degrees. So you shift that 17 degrees more than it was already. You know, our uh, axis is tilted. If it tilted 17 more degrees, would we be seeing that much of a... Well, you know, I don't know if any any of that makes sense. I'm not a, uh, a scientist or educated that minutely in, in that, you know, whatever it is, it is that would explain that, right? So, I will include for you, I'll keep filming throughout the day, and to get the end of this clip hopefully no clouds <laughs> yay not today so I could get this clip it's been a long time coming I've done it several times if you don't have the end of the story you can't really publish the beginning of it so I've done the beginning shots of this particular clip several times for you over the years because you can repeat it you can repeat this with your own eyes just Google uh, moon rise set times and find yourself a good chart that's easy to read when the moon rises and when it sets in your area, your zip code, and you'll be able to see it. If you get out there at that rise time, get out there a couple more times before it sets and you will see it with your own eyes. What does it mean? I think it's it means we've got to be a little bit more um, migrant uh, oriented where we move instead of being fixed in a spot as a species. The birds, the animals are also, they're adapting so much faster than we will to climate changes. I, I can't say that. I can't say that. We're very adaptable species, right? Yeah. So, <clears throat> hey, write down your thoughts and put your comments. Subscribe if you haven't. And welcome new subscribers. Thank you for watching. And I, I have 
a lot of feelings for you guys. <laughs> Thinking about you a lot. I love you. Bye. Okay, guys, I want to get one last shot before the moon sets. So you can see that how the trees grow up, you know that the camera's level. started, it was about 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and now it looks more like it's verging on 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock. So we still have a 90 degree tilt in 8 hours. Be sure and put your comments below what you think about this.